Hey guys and welcome back awesome gamers! We're now on our second run through this game and heading off onto Sector 2. And we're gonna choose either an NG controlled sector or a Zoltan controlled sector. Now, it looks like the Zoltan sector is a little more peaceful whereas the NG sector is more hostile. Well, actually, you know, they're about the same. Okay, I'm gonna go to the NG controlled sector because I would really like an NG on board and maybe we have a better chance of getting one of them on board if we go through their sector. You have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times to these robotic life forms. But they're usually willing to help anyway. So all uh, systems seem go. We have our drone system, but we need to spend some money next on actually getting some power to get these drones working. I could depower a few things here to get them going, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Now let's jump. Now, uh, looks like the exit is there and we want to spend as much time as possible in the sector. I could go back this way and then spin around here to the exit, or I could go up here. Mm. This backward starting place seems interesting. Uh, but it is pretty randomized anyway, so we just want to hit as many places as possible. Uh, this place over this side seems like it could be worth something, but we got to pass the exit. Okay, I'm just going to try to go as quickly as possible to this side. How many jumps can we do to get there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I can just go all the way up here, and if I have to jump back to the exit, I can from this location. Or I can do that kind of thing. So let's head up. Okay, here we go, first planet in Sector 2. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Well, we can be a mercenary and federation if we want. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. Okay, co cool, I'll take that quest. At least you're confident for what little that's worth. Here is the last known location. Quest marker to the map. Okay, cool, where's the quest? Oh, it is over there. Good thing I'm heading there already. There's a store there, but I don't have anything to buy. Uh, so let's head this way towards that quest marker. You receive a distress call from a nearby NG ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. I will re respond and move in to assist. You receive another message from the ship, this time with a mantis at the comm log. Foolish meat sacks, he yells. Sensors indicate the ship is moving into attack and boarders teleport from the station. Okay, we're being boarded. That means, uh, okay, we got blast doors. Let's try and starve them of oxygen. Yes, we can just try open that. Maybe, will they get through these doors in time? We want to, well, let's also target their weapons. They got one shield. Let's see, what can I depower? I don't need this now. Uh, huh. I would love to turn on a diff, uh, do they have missiles? I don't think they do. I'd love to turn on a beam drone, but we'll have to disable something. Uh, I could temporarily disable the oxygen and turn on beam drone to try and disable their stuff. Okay, let's see how we do here. They're taking some nasty damage. Okay, cool. This is a great way to deal with intruders. Okay, we want to... They took out our oxygen supply. That is not good. But these guys are kind of... Starving to death. Okay, they're gonna get into the weapons room pretty soon. We disabled their weapons though. Okay. You get in there, help fight, and then fix the oxygen systems. Okay, kill them, kill them! Okay, we gotta turn... We can disable this, turn our med bay back on, you go there, close all doors, kill him, kill him, come on. Okay, good. We fix the O2 room, and I think we're doing okay, we disabled their weapons, 
I think my drone got disabled. We'll have to recover that when we can. And we took out their ship. Do we lose our drone if it gets disabled like that? The ship explodes. Some cool money, missiles, drone parts continue. Okay. Do we keep our drone? Looks like we do. Does it cost drone parts to repair a drone though? Um, turn the oxygen back on please. Okay, so I think we're doing okay. Get healed. Everyone is doing okay. Weston, get on weapons. Swamps will get on shields once he's healed up. Let's let our oxygen supplies come back a bit. Um, now we got some money. Let's invest in a power bar. There we go. So we got one extra power bar. Now we can disable the med bay and turn on a drone without disabling the oxygen, which is always dangerous. Okay, so looking good. Just waiting for my oxygen supplies to build back up. Everyone is on full health. Cool. Now let's jump to the next spot. We can go to... We'll go here and then we can jump up. We might be able to see something on the way. Let's go there. And here we are. You cross paths with an NG cargo vessel hurrying home before the Mantis fleet fleets attempt to take over this sector. They're happy to offload some of their cargo. 20 scrap, 2 missiles. Ah, oh, nice. So, we got some extra cash. What should we buy? I'd love to upgrade my shields. Because shields are so nice. But we're gonna need more power. And... It's gonna take like 60 or 80 to upgrade my shields to the next level. I think we can leave it for now. I could, um... Buy another power bar. Because we might want to turn on our Artemis missiles in combat. So let's buy one more of those. So we can... Swap between beam or defense. There we go, defense. Uh, and we can turn that off. And turn on our weapon, okay. Let's turn on defense first. Nice, okay. So this way we should be able to shoot down incoming missiles, which should save us a lot of trouble. Okay, let's jump. We don't need to go to the store. Let's go to the distress, and then we can go down to the quest. Looks like... The rebels are coming in, so let's go to the distress signal and see what's up. You follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help! Our shields are down and I don't know how much longer we can last. Try to shield that ship with yours. I guess we can try that. Don't risk it, leave them to their fate. Uh, I'm gonna try protect them because my shields are doing okay. Okay. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits. They offer fuel 6, scrap 27. That's that's worth it. Okay, nice. I like that. Okay, cool. Uh huh. We could. Uh, what should we try upgrade? We really should try upgrade our shields, I think. But more power bars will mean more weapons and drones active at the same time. I'll save my money for now, because the next stop is the exit, and then I want to head down to the quest. I could do that kind of thing, yes. So let's head to the exit location, and see what's up here. You arrive at the long-range beacon, when the FTO... Okay, there's a black market hub here, you receive a message. These are dangerous times, if you have extra military-grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. Sell 5 missiles, sell 10 missiles. 15 scrap. I guess I could sell 5 missiles. I've got quite a few. Let's do that. 5 missiles. Scrap. Nice. So we got some extra cash. I could upgrade my shields to the next level, actually. I do have enough power to power another shield, but then I won't have enough drones going around. Uh, let's see. What else can I upgrade? I could upgrade sensors, see enemy interior. Uh, evasion? Eva auto quarter evasion? That's nice. Oh, but oh, that's if I don't have a pilot in there. Okay. Um, I have a pilot, so... Uh, should I get shields? I think I should. We're gonna be fighting some pirates soon. Or should I get power bars and turn on my drones at the same time? Okay, I'm gonna get two power bars. Accept that. 
So now I can turn on both drones at the same time and still have my burst lasers going. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go to the quest sector, uh, the quest location. And we're probably gonna have to fight some pirates here. Here we go! You arrive at the last known location of merchant's delivery. You begin to scan for the lost ship. You find a severely damaged ship floating among some debris. The crew hails you. I can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone after us. I thought we would freeze to death. If you help us complete the delivery, we'll share the reward and join your crew. Promise to deliver the cargo and ask if anyone will be interested in joining your crew. Oh, that would be very helpful. Take the cargo but drop them off at the... I will... Do I have to go all the way back to the beginning? Because there's no way I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna risk it and see where we're supposed to deliver it to. They upload delivery destination. Add your quest marker. Okay, let's see where they want to go. And, oh, we got a crew. Okay, so we've already been rewarded. You, Fish, <laughs> nice name. You can be the engines guy, because I've been needing an engines guy. That instantly increases our evade by 5%. Nice. So let's jump. Where's the... the quest location is there. Okay, so we got some... some time. We can... we don't need to go to the store. We can jump down here, up, and to the quest, then exit. Cool. One, two, three, four. Yes, we should have enough time. Let's go down. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts it in and offers to split the bounty. One fuel, one missile, and eleven scrap? I don't need that. Try to be a hero. Could get more scrap that way. Pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto my ship. Okay, we got a nice crew going. Let's turn on our defense. Looks like they do have a missile and beam. Not enough system power. Oh, we don't have enough system power for that. Okay. But we can turn on the Artemis and the S-bomb. Well, let's target that. Artemis can also target their weapons. And let's see. This will consume... I want to see how this works. Not enough system power. Oh, I actually have to upgrade that as well. Okay, okay, cool. Let's see how this works. And I will target their weapons with that. And... Should I keep a defense? Yeah, I'll keep the defense drone on in case they fire a missile at me. Looks like they can. Okay, let's see how this S-bomb works. It should consume a missile. And... Oh, they don't have any... They don't have any missiles firing at me. Let's beam their ship. Did the S-bomb... The S-bomb launch? Nice. Let's continue to target their weapons. There we go. Disabled your weapons, so you can't attack me anymore. They've only got energy weapons, so I don't need my drone protecting me from missiles. Fine, our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. Let's see. Five missiles, two drone parts, and 11 scrap. Five missiles is pretty good. Um... Okay, I will take the five missiles. That is nice. Okay, thanks for that. Um... Looks like we're doing okay. Let's jump again. And we're heading up here to the quest and then the exit. An unvisited location. Nice blue planet. What's here? There are a number of merchant ships passing through the area despite the threat of mantis. No doubt interested in buying an efficient technology of the NG. Oh, that's it. Okay, nothing here. So let's jump again to the quest location. And then we should be able to make it to the exit point in time. You find the station that had ordered your cargo. You drop it off and they respond, ignoring the fact that this is days late. We really appreciate that you delivered our materials. Realize how dangerous this sector is these days. Take this as payment. Drone system repair drone. Nice. That means we can have a drone out there that actually repairs our ship. Scrap 17. Cool. Let's check this. System repair. We'll seek out damaged systems and re repair them automatically. Oh, that is really handy. But these drones... Hmm. I like being able to swap between these two. But that beam doesn't really do much damage, does it? Well, let me check the... If I go there, it'll be in the warning zone. But they won't actually be there quite yet. I think I'm okay with this setup. 
Okay, this is where I did really badly last time. If I'm under heavy attack, I am going to get the hell out of there. To the exit point. Let's see. Nothing? Okay, cool. So, we can head on over to the next sector without massive damage like the last time. This is the end of Sector 2, heading on to Sector 3 in our second round of this playthrough. I'll be right back after a short break. <laughs>